James Cantor, being that I do have type 2 diabetes, what is an acceptable microalbumin creatinine ratio? I've got plenty of type 2 diabetics that have too low to count. And so it's like, really? Full-blown diabetic? Folks that are watching this channel, a lot of them are very, very smart. A lot of them got interested. And yes, I've had plenty of 20-something year olds come in and want to get tested. We've found some significant pre-diabetes in some. I've found full-blown diabetes in some 30 and 40 year olds. I also have found it in some 50, 60 and 70 year olds who were just getting started in that process and significant intima damage yet. And their microalbumin creatinine ratio was negative. That's what mine tends to be. Again, I knew what to look for and I was looking for it. The next question on a practical basis for somebody who's had it for a while and didn't know it, wasn't able to get the prevention process started early enough, is there any reversal to it? The answer is yes. You can actually reverse microalbuminuria, spilling that albumin into the urine. Now that takes time and sometimes that's not a practical goal because you get larger damage to arteries within that filter system, but it does you can get improvement. So for men, the number that we want to look for is three to four or less. For women, seven to eight or less. You'll see it on the labs themselves. On the labs, they look at 30. So 30 is something that's where somebody has gotten, they've progressed all the way to full-blown kidney failure, levels of damage there. And the whole goal, as you say, James, is to decrease, reverse, and stabilize that.